getting ready to head into Goodwill and I am going to try to film live like I have been but sometimes the music in Goodwill can get pretty loud so we'll just have to see how this goes. This mug down here makes me think of my friend Carol from My Blessed Nest because I know she collects these smiley face mugs. 99 cents thinking of you Carol that is super adorable all right it is super busy here this morning so we're gonna find a row here that we can get in <laughs> that's not too busy that is a pretty little basket right there or tray $2.99 I like that you can see through it that's kind of neat we have a couple tins here Hershey's a little snowman tin and it looks like they have like a silver tray here let me see if i can take this out that looks super old and pretty oh wow that's heavy too it's got a really pretty design on it there let me see let me turn it over and see what the price is on that i don't do a lot of silver 5.99 it's not wanting to focus but that says 5.99 on there super pretty. Go ahead and put this back. Let's see what else we might be able to find. Ooh, that must have been donated with that little tray. That's really pretty too. I wonder what the price on that is. $2.99. It's got some really pretty details. And then I just noticed too, they have this little piece here, which I'm assuming goes with the set as well. Not sure if it was meant to have a lid or not though. $2.99. What are these? Just like some stars. All right, let's see. Little pear. Yeah, little pear. What's this little guy? Well, just like a little storage type basket. That's kind of neat. $2.99 on that one there. few cake molds it looks like. Does that one look like Donald Duck? Looks like Donald Duck to me. Well this is neat. That is different. Got lots of little candle holders. Not sure that it's old but still really nice. $2.99 on that one. Looks like they have some cat dishes maybe here. A few little, little, little ghosty guy there. Hmm. Oh, it's like some things from the Lion King from the Broadway show. Yep, Lion King on tour. All right, let's see if we can get around the corner here and maybe get into one of these other rows. Some strawberries. There's a glass butter dish. Let's see what the price is on that. $4.99. Pretty strawberries here. It says stoneware, $2.99, made in England. That's pretty if you did strawberries. I thought maybe this might here, this might here, this here might have been a chicken, but it is a turkey. That's kind of neat. You don't see very many Thanksgiving things. $2.99 on that one. It does say dishwasher and microwave safe. Pretty too. It's got like blues and oranges. That one's $2.99. These here are really beautiful. Look at that design. Germany, 99 cents. Now these aren't my style because I don't like the gold edging because I feel like it chips off really easy, but those are really, really pretty, and they have some smaller ones and some bigger ones here. That's pretty. I have seen these here before, and I really think this set right here is pretty. I think it really goes with my garden and herbs that I'm doing right now, but I just don't want to start anything else. Mikasa, and it is parsley, 99 cents. Because I'm collecting my heritage pattern but I do think these are really pretty and they have some bowls here and 
they do have some plates as well and it looks like a little dish or a tray because this is the first year we have planted a garden have you guys planted a garden this year let me know down in the comments we've done a garden chickens some fruits and herbs so really into that right now the farm and the garden things that's really pretty 99 cents on that one and then here's more of this blue Japan we saw some of this last week in my yard sale video I was going to do another yard sale video today but the weather just didn't work out it was supposed to be nice and it's kind of raining so it's kind of bummed 99 cents so let's see what they have in the way of baskets today what's this one here that's kind of cute a little basket little handles $2.99 this one here is $2.99 it's got the rag going around it probably be cute for fall I did an apple cider bar last year for fall and a basket like that I think would look really cute in a display like that this one's giving me a little bit of boho vibes right here with the beads that's kind of neat. Let's see if I can turn it over here and get a price. $3.99. I like the fact that it sits flat. $2.99. It's a nice sturdy little basket. And looks like we got some greenery. These are kind of pretty. Pretty fall colors. On that. All right, let's go ahead and take a tour down this road where they have all of their seasonal items and just see if there's anything here it's a butter dish here some holly on the front falls craft $2.99 it's pretty no look at this guy's little face he is cute what a cutie $2.99 <laughs> oh, he's a cute little guy, isn't he? I like him right there. Oh my, they have lots of these nutcracker tins. $2.99. Mm. A lot of those guys. My hubby would definitely not like that. Here's one of these snowmen that you guys loved on my coffee bar. I filled him up with marshmallows and it makes him white and it is really, really cute. He is $2.99 here. It is getting so hard to record right now because it is so busy. So I went ahead and I put these two guys in my cart because I thought they were really cute and I wanted to show you. This little creamer right here is Staffordshire and it is in this really pretty red design and it is $2.99 and it's got a design going down the handle. And I think that was really pretty. Wanted to show it to you guys. Oh my goodness, Missy, be careful. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. The other thing I found was this salt and pepper holiday snowman set from Fitz and Floyd in the box. Now I'm not gonna take them out of here because they are down in here pretty good. I'm not sure that they've ever been taken out of this. Let me go ahead and pull this off the top so that you can see. Isn't he cute? He reminds me a lot of Frosty the Snowman and then the little present is the other shaker and then these are $2.99 spotted a couple really cute holly hobby figurines over here i don't collect them but i know a lot of you really like holly hobby this one here has like little ducks isn't she so super cute they still have the original tags it says little things holly hobby figurine this one is $3.99 and then this one back here where they've got like the little lambs has a tag as well in really good shape and this one here is $3.99 all right let's try this again <laughs> this guy is really heavy cast iron I was trying to record over there but it's just dark so I'm moving over here where I've got some light from the window this guy is super cool he's cast iron really heavy has some holes in the bottom there where I'm assuming you would kind of screw him down so he would stay but then it's got little ones on the top too like there was something that attached so if you guys have any idea what this might be or what part may be missing 
let me know because I think he's really cool. I'm trying to decide though on one more thing I put in my cart here and it is this picture, rooster and the hen with the babies. And the reason why I'm trying to decide is because it has a lot of scratching on it and I think I could put it in something else but I don't know if I have a lot of time to do something like that and I'd have to take this off the back on the frame. Don't know if I want to do that. It is $5.99. Decisions, decisions. All right, going to share with you the one thing that I did decide to pick up at Goodwill before we head to the next store. And if I get anything there, I will share it after I shop there as well in a car haul. So what I got from Goodwill was this picture. I could not pass it up in the end. I thought, Missy, you're making too big of a deal out of the scratches on the front. It is not that big of a deal to change it out and it is perfect for my decor. So I did go ahead and get this. It was $5.99. So a little pricey I thought, but it's perfect for my decor and so I'm going to bring this one home today. I'm not sure if I'm going to style everything today. I am going to do the car haul and stay tuned because I am going to make a stop at Hobby Lobby, which I haven't done in months. So if I get anything there, I will also share it with you today as well. They do have some pretty Memorial Day decor out here. I like it. And if you are watching this on Memorial Day or any day, thank you to our veterans in the past, our veterans present, and veterans in the future. We truly, truly appreciate everything that you have done, do, and will do for us. And so happy Memorial Day to everybody. I've got my red shoes on. <laughs> and my Americana earrings for today. All right, let's go in and see what we can find. I thought I would mention that when I am thrifting, I am just out basically thrifting for things for my home. I do not resell, so that's why you might see me pass on some things because I only get things to bring home into my home that will go with my decor because I do not resell. This is pretty right here. Falls Graph, they have a nice, big, beautiful set. $34.99 for 31 pieces. And then they have this adorable little light right here. And it is $3.99. So yeah, I don't resell. I just basically pick up things that will go with my decor at home. So I just thought I would mention that in case you are new and haven't watched any of my videos before. 27 pieces, $14.99. And if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video today. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this little striped butter. He just screams Americana, doesn't he? Wonder what that says on the bottom, if anything at all. Be cute for 4th of July. California Pantry. 2014. That little guy's cute. Look at this silver ice bucket and it still has its tongs and it's like in fantastic shape. I take the lid off. $29.99. That is a massive china closet. And it is $189. And all the glass looks like it's still intact. And it must light up because it has a plug-in. Looks like somebody did this. Oops, got some chips there. It looks like it was like this originally, and then somebody did the chipping over top, painted it black, and then put the chip on. That is a big cabinet for just $189.99. $24.99 for this phone right here. Con Air phone. $24.99. 
in the bowl. I wonder if it says anything or has a price on the bottom of the bowl. Oop, no, I don't see one. I'm not sure on that one. Looks like somebody donated all of their Denim Days figurines. I am drawn towards the Halloween ones, of course. $4.99. Looks like these ones here are going to school. $4.99 as well. I wonder what the price is on the one with the Santa because it's a little bit bigger. Let's pull him out of here and see. That one is, oh, no, $4.99 as well. All right. I think that says heated footstool down there. Does that say heated footstool? It does. Heated footstool, $4.99. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Look at that. It plugs in on the bottom. I have never seen anything like that before. I just thought it was a cute little stool. I've never seen anything like that. I like this down here, this basket. It is $8.99, but I just know for 100% fact that my kitty cats would never, ever, ever leave that alone. Never. They'd be in it, chewing it, biting it, Probably Luke would too. I'm really liking these shams right here for $5.99. I did check the tag and they do say made in China, but they are really, really pretty and feel really nicely made. We are still working on her bedroom. It's just slow but sure with doing everything outside as well. And I just think that these are pretty and I like the fact that they are just a neutral, off-white color that could go with just about anything. I did get a couple practical things at this stop that I wanted to share with you. And the first thing that I have here, I don't think I showed any footage of it, but I did go ahead and grab it. It was $1.99. It is this Tupperware container in really, really good shape. A lot of times they have a lot of scratching on them. This doesn't have anything like that on it or on the sides. I got this because we are feeding hummingbirds and I'm making my own hummingbird feed and then I need something to put it in to store it in the refrigerator. So this will be great for that for only $1.99 and it was in really good shape. So I did go ahead and grab that and then the other thing that I did get were the shams and when I checked out the lady said they were beautiful so I'm going to take a chance on these they were $5.99 there they are right there and I just think they're pretty and I went ahead and decided to get them because they are a neutral color so I feel like they will go with anything that I would want to have on the bed and they're just a really pretty they're just really pretty so I went ahead and took a chance on these decided to go ahead and get them so that is what I picked up at this store and then now I'm going to go ahead and head on off to Hobby Lobby and if I get anything there I will share it with you as well I am in Hobby Lobby now and I am looking at the greenery. I am looking for some greenery for my basket I got last week and my barrel. And I'm hoping to find some Memorial Day sales here today. So I was looking at these ones here. I thought they were really pretty. And then they have these yellow ones here as well. Ooh, and it does say here that they are having a sale on flowering and greenery bushes 50% off. These could look nice in that basket too. They've got a purple color to them. And then these ones down here look nice too. They almost look like a dried flower, which I think looks a little more natural. And then they have these ones over here. The 4th of July stuff is on sale for 40% off. And I'm kind of seeing this sign back here. I think they've got another one right here though. This is $12.99 and I do like this because I think it is simple and I like how they have the letters. So at $12.99, that would be $7.79, so not too bad. Then they have a couple of little gnomes up here. And then of course the little machines that look like gumball machines that kind of started at Target. $7.99 here but again, 40% off. So these little machines would be $2.99. So 
really good price. So they have red ones and they have white ones and they have blue ones. I didn't realize it when I saw the gnomes up top, but they do light up. They're $6.99, 40% off. They have those little cupcake picks that you guys suggested to put in my tiny flower frog. So I'm kind of debating about those. They're $1.99, 40% off, which is a great deal. I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to do any 4th of July displays or not, but these would be perfect in that tiny flower frog I got. There is a ton of all of these wooden stands and cutting boards and bowls left. Just like stacks and stacks of them here for 50% off. I can't believe that. There's all kinds of stuff. I was looking at this because I thought my diffuser might look pretty sitting down in that. But then I thought maybe it might be too deep for my diffuser to sit in. But I'd like to do something to get it kind of standing up a little bit taller. And I thought maybe something like that might work. It is $39.99, which is a high price, but it's 50% off. I haven't been in here for months. 75% off clearance here. Now these ones are glass, $1.74. They have this color of green, and then they have a lighter color here. Looks like a pinkish color, or is that clear and it's just... No, I think it's got a little bit of a pink tint to it. I wasn't sure if it was reflecting off of somewhere else. And then they have tall ones here in different colors of green. The taller one here is $224. And that is a heavy-duty glass. And then they also have some here that are in the clear. Those are glass. I don't have fingernails, <laughs> but those are glass. And that is $7.49. This one that's a little bit smaller is $6.24. And this one here that's even a little bit smaller is $4.99. They are already starting to put out their fall decor. They have lots and lots of it here. They have mats. They have all of their pumpkins out, some signs, fall is proof that change is beautiful. And then they have some yard steak pumpkins, some more greenery. They have lots of candles there you can see. Not on sale, but they do have fallout. There's more pumpkins and those are the carvable ones. And right now without sale, they are $49.99. They have some sewn pumpkins here, little beads, that's darling, $21.99. Some little figurines. They have some signs here that light up that say fall and pumpkins and more signs. And over here they've got some more stands and bowls. These look like they've got little feet on the bottom. They do, they look like little, um, knobs $5.99 for that little stand and they have the cute little birds that they normally have all dressed up some little mini Moscow mule mugs and those are $5.99 this one has some really pretty colors in it $1.99 I do love fall, but it's still May. <laughs> but they have a lot of fall stuff out. If you're interested in coming and checking it out and just getting an idea of what they may have so that you're ready when it goes on sale. I wasn't going to record any more of the fall, but then I came across these walking through the aisle and I just thought they were darling. These little jars. They have them in this amber color. They are $3.99. And then they also right now have them in what looks to be this green color right here. But those are just darling. So, okay. I just had to show you those real quick. And it says welcome-ish. And then it's got two chickens on the bottom. And it says depends who you are and how long you stay. And they are like in a blue color with like red. 
and I'm trying to check the price on this. This is $37.99, it says down there. I know you can't see that, but it says $37.99. It has a couple of places here if you want to hang it. Or you could just lean it as well if you want to. I'd probably spray it with something to protect the paint. I got some really cool stuff from Hobby Lobby. They were having sales on everything, which is what I was hoping for. I did not get the welcome sign because I found something else that I have been looking for. Well, not this specifically, but I've been looking for something to put by my Keurig underneath my cabinets to kind of finish off that end of my kitchen with like some mugs and some different things. And I wanted something a little bit different. So I found this piece here and it was 50% off. I think it ended up being like 12 or 13 dollars something like that I got this thing right here now once I get it hung up I will show it to you but I think it's going to be neat because it's like this um, crate type looking thing with the wire which will go good it's like the galvanized metal that looks old it's got two little hangers on it and mugs fit in there just nicely I tried some different size mugs while I was in there so I'm hoping this is going to be something that looks cute and also different from other things that you see around the coffee bar area so I'm excited about that piece so I got that instead of the sign and then I did get four of the green tall glasses for $2.74 the darker colored ones because I'd like a nice set of matching glasses so I did get four of these, so I'll only pull out one because they wrapped them all. They were $2.24, which I thought was a really good price. And they are really, really pretty. Nice size. I got the taller ones. There's the price on there. And I think these will look great with the green color that I have in my kitchen. And then I got some greenery for my barrel and my basket. And I did get three of these. So I like this one because of the green. I can leave them out for a long time. Plus I like the little touches of white that it did have on it. And thankfully 50% off because the greenery at Hobby Lobby is expensive. So I got three of those and three of this one right here that looks almost like the dried flowers with the purple. I think those will be a nice contrast in my big round basket that I got last week. Again, thankful that they were on sale because other than that, they're $15 a piece. So I got them on sale. So I got three of each of those. Stick around though. I've got one more thing to show you. I'm going to style my barrel and my basket for you so you can see how the greenery looks. So don't leave me just yet. As promised, here is how that greenery looks in this barrel. So pretty, love the contrast of the light green and white against the dark brown of the barrel. Looks super cute in there, it's full. Now they weren't tall enough for this, which I didn't think they would be, so I just stuffed the bottom here with like the paper they wrap glass with. When you go to Hobby Lobby, I used the paper from the glasses that they gave me, so looks really cute. Oh. Really? Really? Mm -mm. What? No. No. Catch. Look at me. Look at me. Mm-hmm. And then here is the purple greenery in my big basket. I think that it looks good in there. I like, again, the contrast or the complement of the dried flowers and the old basket. I think that just goes really well together. And if you want to check out the video where I'm talking about the barrel and the basket, I'm going to link it up here on the screen for you right now so that you can check that out. I hit an amazing garage sale last week. You don't want to miss it.